Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Hello, my name is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to another episode of On the Bench with Sport Fishing on the Fly. Today we'll be tying a uh, nice little grubbish pattern. Um, it's really, really, really effective for ice fishing. Um, it's uh, getting to that season now where our lakes are going to start freezing over and uh, um, it turns into tying season, but I know a lot of people still like going out fishing. So this is one that has been extremely successful for me, uh, ice fishing here in Alberta and in Western, uh, sorry, Eastern BC. Um, this one is also uh, has done well for me in the rivers during the summertime, but not as well as in the lakes in uh, uh, for ice fishing. So, ready? Let's get it going. So today in the vice we have a Hens BL510 in a size 10. Any shrimp hook, any curved uh, caddis style hook will work. Um, for the bead, I have a 1 8 chartreuse uh, brass bead. If you've got tungsten, use that. You want to get down quicker. Uh, for the underbody, I'll be using some underbody weight. I'll be using some Semperfly sticky back flat lead uh, just to get some extra weight to this fly. Um, for the underbody, I'll be using some Semperfly hollow tinsel and silver. For the body itself, I will be using some Hens body glass. It's half round, uh, micro they call it, and it's chartreuse. And uh, that's it. And then at the very end, I'll put a little bit of Semperfly um, no tack UV resin on just to, to coat it. But you'll see by the end how bright this uh, fly ends up being. It's just, it's kind of crazy how how bright it is. So so I'm going to start about where the, the, the barb would be. And I'm just going to put on one layer of my sticky back flat lead right up to the bead. And then bust that off and then I'm going to come forward one full turn and go right up to the bead again and use your nail if you have one to push that right in okay so there you go Semperfly classic waxed in an 8 aught I forgot to mention that for my thread. So I'm just going to get this well started. Cut this off. Just make sure that sticky back flat lead is on there well. Go all the way back. Just making sure, first of all, making sure that sticky back flat lead is on there. Second of all, just give it a little bit of a base for the. Uh, for the um, tinsel. So now, uh, it might not be long enough. I'm going to grab a longer strand of the tinsel. I'm not fighting it. Nothing worse than trying to fight it while you're on. Uh, while you're on. So now, I'm going to take a piece of the, uh, doing a video here, right? So, um, piece of the body glass first. And I'm going to come back about half, three quarters of the way, about there where that, that taper takes a bit of a, a dive. And just really tight, get that on there, nice and tight. And stretch it, stretch it, stretch it until you're around the corner. Come back up, make sure that little tag end is secured down, the front there. And like I said, just... You don't have to cover this whole flat lead, but uh, it doesn't hurt. So, especially up front here where I didn't get all the way right under the bead with the weight. So, so now just get that out of my way. Just putting that in my little material holder. Gonna take my uh, hollow tinsel in the silver. I really like the effect this silver does to it, and that's why I think this is one of the reasons it's such an effective fly. Uh, an ice ice fly, ice jig, whatever you want to call it. Um, this works really well also, just so you guys know, on a jig style hook. So if you want to do it in jig style, even better. Um, I didn't have any of the right size on me, so. 
So now I'm just going to wrap my underbody um, overlapping wraps just slightly overlapping I just want to cover as much as I can at the bottom if I don't get it all if there's a slight little gap or anything I don't really worry about it I don't go back um, it's just uh, like I said it's an underbody that will show through uh, just the, the shine will show through that's it so if there's a little tiny gap it's not gonna make a difference I put two or three wraps right up at the front here just to kind of fill that space and then just make sure she's tied down well nip that off now what I like doing is just repositioning my fly just a little bit putting a half hitch in the front here just in case I bump it because that does of course I got little burrs on my fingers there we go um, so now just wrap nice and tight right at the back end just do a, there's gonna be a couple of wraps right at the back end and then put my finger there and that just will will stop it from falling down the hook this part can be a little bit of a pain what you can do because of that uh, it's mostly because of that that um, silver underbody is very uh, slippery right so but once you get it going it's not bad so I'm, I'm pulling this quite tight I'm probably doubling the length of it how tight I'm pulling it because I want it nice nice thin taper at the back and I'll let it go as I come forward so now I'm starting just ever so lightly to let it slightly now I'm probably only pulling about a quarter of it instead of half and now I'm going to start letting it go just so it's going on with just an ever so slight of course I bump it ever so slight um, pull I don't want much here just want it almost to, to be the natural tension right and as I get to the front here I will have to do a couple of I'll go forward and back just a little bit and forward again right behind that bead tie that off nip that off make sure that's tied down before you nip it otherwise you will lose all of it um, to a whip finish here I like doing a second whip finish here so that's on nip. now I'll just put a very thin coat of Superfly no tack this is quite thick so you don't have to put a lot on and then just spread it out with your bodkin. So just spread it out nicely, just so it's all covered. And the only reason is, especially if you're going after any toothy type fish, um, that this doesn't just get destroyed, right? So now watch when I hit this thing with a uh, UV light. This thing just lights up like a light bulb. It's absolutely amazing how much this lights up. And it's that it's that hall it's that green uh, body glass from Hens, but it's also that under. It really makes it shine with that silver underbody. So it's a really really simple fly. Like it's it, there's not much to it, but it is absolutely deadly. So there she is. That's the uh, let's call it the finished hollow grub. It is a it is a uh, deadly fly. Like I said, I've been using this one for quite a few years, and it uh, it works real well. I've tied a bunch up for my buddies that go ice fishing because I don't do a lot of ice fishing, but uh, I have gone a few times, and this has been really effective. But I'll, like I said, I'll tie it up for my buddies, and, and they just love it. It's a like a really really good fly. So, All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that one, and. Uh, um, Thanks for watching another episode of Sport Fishing on the Bench, Sport Fishing on the Fly. Tight lines, everyone. <laughs>